Welcome to the Welsh Woodburn Workshop and in tonight's project I'll be tackling these very very large pieces of conifer so we're going to get them mounted up onto the lathe and turn a gigantic bowl so I hope you enjoyed tonight's project and if you do remember to hit the subscribe button down below as that's really going to help me get more videos like this your way hope you enjoy so as this thing is so huge I wouldn't be able to physically lift it onto the lathe I'm going to be trimming this back, this edge back slightly and put like a chamfer on it with a chainsaw. Now if you notice I put a plywood disc in the middle and that's going to be where I'm going to be shooting to to get back down nice and even into that middle section. So this should reduce the weight and a bit of labour time as well in me getting this into the round onto the lathe. So it was a heck of a challenge just lifting this big beast up on the lathe so it should be a fun challenge to try and turn this. Right, let's see how we get on. So again, you can see why this tree was felled, because of the rot, that's what we're tackling with at the moment. I don't think this is going to be safe to put a chuck on, so I'm going to have to remount this the other side with probably uh, another faceplate. It's the safest way to go with this one. So the two major things to remember when you're turning big is to turn slow and controlled, number one. And number two, always turn the machine off before you're moving the tool rest and do a full spin. You see there, it's touching the tool rest. If I turn that on without doing the full spin, it would jam, not do the motor any good, or I'm probably want to fly off as well. So we need to adjust this. So we're spinning freely and controlled. Tighten down our tool rests and we're good to keep turning. So slowly hogging away the sides till I get this completely in as close to the round as I can get. Then I can start establishing a, an actual shape then to make this look a bit more aesthetically pleasing. So you're starting to see I've roughed out the profile. It's a really ugly shape at the moment, so we're gonna redefine that but you can see all the the rot in the tree all the way through quite pretty really like that actually and you can see some of the the knots so there's lots and lots of grain pattern that's interesting in this with the knots and we've got some of these gnarly sort of cracks and things there so it's quite a quite a nice piece all together so we're just going to do a finalized shorter shape now on the outside profile and leave enough room to put a, a little foot so we can mount some faceplate screws through. So I've just given the piece a light sand, as you can see there, we're getting quite a lot of rock coming through. And what I've tried to do is establish um, a sort of a difference between the rot areas and the, the solid pieces in sort of undercutting them slightly with the sanding. You see there's a lot of character in this piece. Lots and lots of rot coming through so we have to be really careful when we remount this and turn the inside but lots of gnarly bits there that are going to make it really pretty. Finished sort of profile and 
two layers of oil, let it set and dry in between, and a layer of wax over the top as well. So really, really nice, especially these gnarly parts. Love the character that sort of pops out in this piece. So what we're going to do is we're going to take it off the lathe now, put a face plate to this back section underneath the little foot, and then we're going to turn it round and turn the inside. Just managed to get it turned around the other way, but what my plan is now is to just face off the top to get it nice and flat and level, maybe put a little bit of a curve into the, uh, the rim of the bowl, but I want a nice thick rim of the bowl. I've got a little pencil line on there I've gauged, so I'm going to be working roughly to that line when I come to my hollowing out. Uh, that's a long boring process, so I'll try and skip through that as quickly as I can. But essentially I want an even more thickness route with this shape, being very careful as we get towards the bottom because of that rot. So I've been wearing a, a power respirator for the, uh, the entire process to keep my eyes and lungs safe all at the same time. So finally got this monster bowl all finished. It's a huge challenge to try and get the wall thickness equal all the way throughout, especially as the bowl was so dry and rotten at the bottom, probably a little bit too far gone for some turning wood again. And the fact that <laughs> we're turning mostly into end grain rather than side grain. But in order to get help me get to the bottom, I had to extend my tool handle. And I just use a bit of PVC pipe to help me do that. And it just helped me to, to roll in the tool into the center a little bit easier and lever it in. So this is going to be quite a difficult sell due to the size of this to try and find someone with a large enough house or table to hold this on. So what I thought we could do in future videos is maybe convert this into a piece of furniture. So it'd be interesting to hear in the comments what people think, whether we should keep this as a giant bowl or turn it into a bit of furniture. And if you've enjoyed tonight's project or found it useful in some way, remember to hit the subscribe button down below and the bell icon to get more videos like this your way. So I hope to see you on future videos. Dalkenvaur, Norstar.